So for the lining, you want to have something that, of course, it's interesting, right? But there is a concept in painting that it's called your design design mat matrix. I, I think I, I, I better use this one in Photoshop. So when I create something like this, I can paint something. Let's just say I can put it mostly black or dark here. I can. Let me use one of my my Chinese brushes here. Uh, this one is nice. So what I can do is just paint this like this. Okay, and I can do some kind of variation like this. And you can see that my painting is mostly, mostly black here. Okay, so what this means is that you want to have some contrast here. Like if you see my contrast here, you want your painting to go from white to dark, but you want to have like maybe like 70% is dark and only 30% is white. And to have something interesting. For example, if I were to paint something bright here, you can immediately see this and you can see that my design, design matrix is mostly black, but I have something white here. And this is what you want to have here. Uh, of course, is lining in a reel is amazing. So it's easy to fall into the trap where just any lining can make the job, which in this case it does really. But uh, let's just go into detail lining or lining only. Both are okay. So if I go here, I can Control L and change my lining. For example. This is a this is an example of a lining that is very flat, and you don't see much contrast here. And even if I go to my color here, like I just cannot see the lights and the shadows. I want to have the lights and shadows, so I want to put it in a place where I can have interesting lining and shadow. like this maybe.